All right then, jump aboard the flying carpet, because this is more than the story of a resort in itself. This is the story of the magic holiday village. This is Resort Roundup. Hello everyone, my name is Craig and I am Cesar Brun. Welcome back to Resort Roundup. For each of the episodes of this series, we'll be focusing on First Choice, a package holiday operator based in the UK, and their holiday villages collection of resorts around the world. The year is 2010. First Choice currently plans to begin summer 2011 with eight holiday villages. Costa del Sol, Viva, Turkey, Red Sea, Algarve, Aliafon, Flamingo Beach, and Atlantica Roads. This is not as many as they would like. Having now almost fully recovered from the Great Recession, they want it to be the biggest year of HV ever. HV is about to enter double figure operation. There would not be 8 HVs in 2011, but in fact, 10. Today's subject will be one of those additions a resort in Hamamet, Tunisia, known as the Magic Manar Hotel. It had been run by Thompson under its low-cost, all-inclusive brand Magic Life for many years, but was well due a promotion to something more desirable. Holiday villages, meanwhile, were being as desirable as usual, and having failed their experimentations on Star Class HVs, First Choice decided that they needed to expand their brand's portfolio in Africa, having had success with HV Red Sea. So, here's an idea. What about a holiday village manor? Well. HV Manor opened at the start of that coming season, Summer 11. Initial reviews state that guests were asked to pay for activities that were included in their all-inclusive package, something which is quite common in Tunisia where laws are a little lax and it's allowed to swindle folk in this way. Generally though, reviews were positive. This HV was very heavy on grounds. As you can see in a similar way to Turkey and Red Sea, there are many gardens in this resort. That makes the HV f feel much more spacious, a positive thing, as many HVs recently had been more cramped affairs. I'm looking at you, Flamingo Beach. In terms of facilities, this HV had 333 rooms, split across two blocks. There were only two restaurants, the main Yasmin Buffet restaurant and the Italian a la carte, and the snack bar was available throughout the afternoon. Four other bars lay on the property, one of which was on the HV exclusive beach something only the free mid-haul resorts had. When it comes to entertainment, Manar had the usual HV specials, along with bingo and the occasional live musician. Some items were missing from the daytime programme due to Tunisia's customs authority refusing entry to several pieces of equipment, such as the water roller. On the plus side though, the aerial adventure here was one of the largest tracks yet, only being beaten by roads. Many other HVs had not tracks, but objects like HV Turkey Slingshot. It's when we come to aquatics that HV Manor shows its true colours. While the free pools, two out, one in, are nothing special in size or complexity, it does have an excellent aqua park right in the middle of the resort. Nay bridges, nay castles required. Right there. Alright then, it's time to address the elephant in the room. Tunisia's tourist areas are lovely places. It's not just the HV that has a nice entrance. Here's me outside in Iberistar in 2013 and it is genuinely a very nice place. The issue comes when you leave the resort. At the best of times it's just Ahmed who is chef at Shishkan you give him money, but sometimes things can get dangerous even if you've not left your hotel. One of these times was the 26th of June 2015. 33 people from across the four UK nations in Ireland were killed by a 22-year-old Tunisian student while enjoying a relaxing morning in the Rue Imperial Maraba Hotel in Sousse. Not only was this hotel closed immediately, but the country was evacuated of holidaymakers and no one was allowed back for several years. Sadly, this spelled the end for HV Manor as, like HV Red Sea, it went on hiatus. And while it might seem like the end for HV Manor, it was in fact the chance for it to improve, as, ridiculously, 
it pulled through and reopened for Summer 19 as Holiday Village Tunisia. You could call Summer 19 Manar's season of glory. Here it is in its excellence. It wears the name well, it's just a shame that it wore it for such a short time. As we all know, Covid arrived before Summer 20 could even begin and Summer 21, although each of these were technically open, was basically dead. And so, for the first time, there is uncertainty as this video is released. In November past, that's 2021, Holiday Village Tunisia was delisted from TUI and First Choice catalogues, instead being introduced as Magic Life Manor Hotel. But it seems, at some point in early 2022, it was once again renamed to just Manor Hotel. Not only has this grand resort had its HV status removed, but it can't even reclaim its former title as a magic life. But there is hope. The TripAdvisor page's name has not been changed, meaning that Magic Resorts, the operator of the property, have not yet had formal confirmation, so HV Tunisia may well return. Holiday Village Manor and later Tunisia, then, was a well-deserved HV, and while it may be closed, sort of. Its legacy remains and we all know that it truly was the home of All Inclusive. Well everyone, thank you so much for joining me. I'm currently staying at the Mordomar Apartments in Matagorda and intend to use my time here in Lanzarote to get some shots inside the free HVs. So I'd appreciate it if you could subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss those videos or any future resort roundups which, as a result of this, may be taking a short hiatus themselves. I've been Craig, I am Cessna Brune, and I will see you in my first ever Holiday Village soon. <laughs>